let's do a bunch of problems about lines. First, find a polar equation of a line through the origin of slope 3 halves. So let's draw a picture here. Here's a line through the origin of slope 3 halves. So, for example, the point 2, 3 is going to be on that line, up 3 and over 2. Now, something that we discussed earlier is that lines through the origin have polar equation of the form theta is equal to something, some constant. There's, there's no R dependence here. So now we just have to figure out, well, what is this theta? So how do we do this? This is going to be tangent theta is equal to 3 halves y over, uh, y over x there. So theta is going to be arc tangent of 3 halves. We're in, that checks out here for being the right quadrant to be in. So that's our final answer. That was pretty easy. Okay, uh, here's a slightly more interesting one. Show that r is equal to d times secant of theta minus alpha is the polar equation of the line L whose point closest to the origin is d, as, is d comma alpha, where that's written in polar coordinates. So let's, let me draw a line here. So here is our line L, and there is a particular point here that is the closest one to the origin. I think it's going to be right around here. Of all the points on this line, this is going to be the closest one to the origin. So I'll call this P naught. Here is P naught. And so right there, this is polar coordinate, so the distance p naught is away from the origin as d, and this is angle alpha. Okay, let's take a generic point. Here's a generic point that's on our line, and let's say, so let's just say it has polar coordinates r theta, and we're going to drop this down, but what's going on here? We have a right triangle. Now this has side length r, and this angle is going to be, let's see, this entire angle is going to be theta, so the angle from here to here is going to be theta minus alpha. So I'm going to pop out this triangle, I'm going to pop it over here, so what's going on? right angle, this right here, that's R, this right here, that's D, this angle in here, so we said it's theta minus alpha, and so we have a right triangle here. What can we conclude about this right, right triangle? Um, what is the cosine of this angle, cosine of theta minus alpha is equal to d divided by r. But if we take reciprocals here, 1 over cosine of secant, so secant of theta minus alpha is r divided by d, and if we take this d and move it to the other side, we get exactly r is equal to d secant of theta minus alpha. And that's exactly what we're trying to show here. So we are done with this problem. And now we're just going to, uh, now we're going to use it right here. Find the polar equation of the line L, tangent of the circle, r is equal to 4. At the point with polar coordinates, p naught is 4 and pi over 3. So, picture, here is our circle of radius 4, and let's say right here is theta is pi over 3,
So this is the line that we're trying to find an equation for. But this line has exactly this property here. Polar equation of the line L, whose point close to the origin is d alpha. This is the point on the line that's closest to the origin. Every point not other than this point on the line is more than four units away. So we can just know that the equation is going to be R is D times secant of theta minus alpha. And plop in D here is 4 secant of theta minus pi over 3. And there is our final answer.